In paved areas, that can take as, as much as three days up to 10 days, and all that depends on the situation. Um, when you're tearing out and replacing an existing manhole, you have to call one call, which is 48 hours before you can start digging, then you have to set up traffic control. And then after that traffic control set up, you have to usually bypass the existing sanitary sewer so you can work there. And you excavate down and set up a shoring system. What a shoring system is, is per OSHA requirements, you have to have a safe hole for your workers to get in. Most manholes are deeper than four foot, so you always have to shore the bank. And then when you shore, it's less pavement you have to take out, so it helps keep costs down. Once that shoring system's in place, you have to set the new manhole, backfill with a suitable material, which is usually a rock or a granular material, to get 95% compaction. You need that 95% compaction so you can put the new paving on top. And this is where your time frames can differ, and it depends on the city's engineering spec. Um, there's concrete material out there that you can pour to have it cure in one day or there's concrete material that's a little bit cheaper that has to cure for seven days. So that's how uh, the time frame difference is between the cure time of the concrete between one to seven days. Once that concrete is cured, you restore the site conditions, remove the traffic control, and it's pretty much done.